Well, here we are. Hi, Grace. Hi, how are you? I am doing phenomenal. How are you doing? You look beautiful. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. We're so cute, aren't we? Yes. Just look at us. We're adorable. I can <laughs> Guys, this is what you have to look forward to when you're through your narcissistic relationship, glowing yeah. and growing. Yes, and never again. And never again, right, <laughs> ever. No. But we are here and we are here for you. And we're gonna take 15, 20 minutes to talk about our next topic, um, how to starve a narcissist. Ooh, how to starve a narcissist. So we put them on a diet, huh? Yes, yes. Of no food. <laughs> of no food. And, and what, would, what would that food be? Okay, so I'm going to run down a list. There's three things, yeah. and we'll talk about each one. So, so you have a one. List, shopping list of things to take away from the narcissist? Is that what you have? It is, actually. Excellent. Okay, let's start. Okay, so number one. Yes. Give them no attention and no validation. Ooh. So not engaging with them, basically, at that, that level. Correct, yes. Um, because apparently, well, about apparently, they seek that validation from you. They'll edge you on. And the more you respond, the more empowered they are. Exactly. You know, and encouraging. I will say, though, there is, I, I have like a, I wrote a note to be careful about that, mm -hmm. about this starving stage. And I said that because in my own experience, when you, um, don't give them validation. Yeah. They, they do, in my experience, mm. their aggression elevated. Ay. And it be, ended up becoming more and more violent. So again, we'll equip you with these things, but also real life experience is, what because I did take that step and it just got more and more intense and more aggressive. So be mindful of that when you, um, when you choose to approach it in that way, no validation. And they can also play the victim when you don't validate them. Yes. So they make you look like the bad guy because you're not validating them. Correct. And they poor little victims. Yes. Yes. That's another way they do it. That's a smooth way too. Oh yeah. They they've done this many times, so they're not new at it. What do we say? Like kind of like con artists. Yeah. Emotional con artists. Emo oh, I like that. Emotional con artists. They mm. are. That's a good one. Yeah, thank you. I was, kind of like, I was going to say, we got a t-shirt. Just, Just came up with it. Really? That was yeah. good. I never thought about it. You you inspired me. I love it. Oh, we're such a great team. We're an amazing team. So that is um, the first one they said. No yeah. validation. Again, caution with that. Because again, the aggression can increase. Um, don't be the source of their supply. I kind of feel that that's a little sticky one too, because you are the source. When our prior episode that we just got finished um, a couple of weeks ago, they there's something within you that they are craving to be. You know, mm -hmm. you're strong, you're independent, you're smart, and so it's kind of hard not to be the source. You're like their energizer. You know, you're helping them thrive. Yes, they feed off of you. They're like vampires. Yes. They suck yeah. your energy, your life energy. Your life energy. Yeah, they do suck the, your life energy, like completely. Yeah, and so it's yeah. kind of hard. Like, how would you even go about that? Like, in your opinion, not to be the source of in a in a safe way. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the thing. Safe. Ugh, it's tough. Make yeah. yourself not available. Maybe. Yeah. I would do that. Yeah, I would. I would actually. I remember I used to do that. I would even like get out of the house and be in my car. Mm, okay. Get away from him and not make yourself scarce. I think that's a good thing. And blame it on your work or your, not your friends because they're jealous. Mm -hmm. But if you blame it on your work, then they're going to look like an asshole if they say, you know, what, don't work. Well, then. Well, that's where I was, though. I tried with the work thing. And that when it really started escalating with the violence. Oh, really? Yes, yes. yes. Because they thought that there was someone at work. Oh, of course they're jealous. <laughs> I was thinking, I know everything. I, I think I told you my ex was jealous of a gay friend 
who was fixing something because my cleavage was showing and he fixed it. And he goes, his, he's a comic. His name is Jason Stewart. I love him to death. He's great. And he goes, does he know I'm gay? I'm like, he does. And he knew it. Yeah. He's wow. like, he's looking at me like he wants to kill me. I said, I know he really does want to kill me. I know. That's not a joking face. He will. No. I mean, he's gay. There's, wow. He's interested in all this. And that's so funny, not haha -ha funny, but it just speaks to the um, mental <laughs> place where they are. And that's why you really do have to tread lightly for your own safety because yeah. it's deeper than we actually understand. Grant, again, we have our own trauma, but and theirs is we just got to tread lightly in that area. Definitely. Oh, yeah, you have to be careful because you trigger them like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and you don't want to trigger them. But sometimes you, without even wanting, you trigger Just you existing yes. triggers them. <laughs> it's a, you just have to like, do nothing. Beautifully said. Just you existing mm -hmm. is a trigger. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I just got a flash of like, how did I do that? Why? But I mean, again, you sit here and you're like, oh, I know why. Because you're doing the podcast and you're sharing. Yeah. You know? But at the moment, like it's just like wow, that was that was a that was an experience. That was an experience. Absolutely, and see, sharing is so important. Uh, there's a lot of groups on Facebook about mm -hmm. narcissistic abuse, and a lot of people share their experience or ask for help. And the feedback that people give them is great, and they support them, and they tell them, you know, how they, you know, what they would do, and and you know, of course, they're not therapists, but. Um, Seek help. Talk to other people. Yes. Compare notes. Yes. And that will encourage you and will validate that, oh, yes, I am in a narcissistic relationship or mm -hmm. not, you know, abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So true. Just speaking to somebody. And even if it's too big of a step to state that you're in a narcissistic, just like Grace is saying, just get out and speak with somebody. Just talk. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Share. That's a big step, a big step. It's huge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, okay, so we always run out of time and I am, I'm not doing that this time. So <laughs> our next thing was not to react. Mm -hmm. And to that, I would say, I don't know so much as not react, but react differently. Be careful. Yes. And I'm sure, you know, what, what happens is as you get to know them and you are aware of what's going on, that you're being abused, you kind of figure out their triggers. Mm -hmm. So avoid triggering them. Yes. Yes. And it's being really smart about it because um, something I would say like reacting differently might be if you know, like Grace is saying, what someone's trigger is and they're bringing that to you, instead of having that back and forth where you know it's not going to go anywhere but downhill. Yeah. X, can you talk about that later? Yeah. So it's not as dismissive to them because they don't want, they want that validation. Don't dismiss me. So yeah. you have to be strategic in how you respond differently. So, hey, I would love to get to the bottom of this with you. Mm -hmm. Can we just enjoy this, finish this movie or X, Y, Z? And then that. let's talk about that next. You know, that's, that's brilliant. So they're feeling validated. They're feeling, you know, it's just being more strategic going into these um, when you're recognizing these behaviors that are alarming. <laughs> yes. You know, you're being that are alarming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was and I wrote down another point. Um, if you're living together, because sometimes it might be easier to give these pointers when you're in a boyfriend and girlfriend, you're not living together. But when you, like, what do you do when you're in the house with that individual? That could be a time where you could say, hey, you know, I love you so much and I want this relationship to work, not that let's book a therapist appointment. And you know what you're sharing? Let's bring that in front of a therapist to give us, you know, a well-rounded opinion. I like that. And that's where you're safely placing yourself because again, we're really big on safety is that you're placing yourself yes. in a safe environment 
with a third party and now that individual, yourself, and the therapist can chime in. Yes. And I think that's a really um, a better way to approach and respond rather than not reacting. So don't think you have to not react. That's hard to do too. We're humans, like not yeah. react, just react differently. I love that. Yes, because it, that's part of their deal too. They feed off of negative emotions, your negative emotions. So they do kind of try to provoke you and yes. they know your triggers. Yes. So instead of reacting, which is the natural impulse to do that, mm -hmm. step back and apply what Al is saying, who actually Al is way more diplomatic than I am. <laughs> So listen to her. I'm not going to say what I would say. I will whoop their ass, but that's a whole, I'm a martial artist. So it's a whole different thing. I love our conversations after camera. She's just like, you know, I fuck that shit. This is like, fuck that shit. Yeah, pretty much. I love yeah. it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, and I'm happy. And, and you know what? It, this is this is just me. I'm a comedian. So at some point when I triggered him, it made me laugh and I would laugh in his face. I know I'm crazy. And we're talking about safety. Yeah, guys. <laughs> but don't do that. That's just me. I, I'm a martial artist and I'm a comedian, so I can't help myself. Exactly. She is yeah. um she can protect herself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it the best thing I think is either not to engage well first in the emotional level not to engage and on the you know um yes ending him in a way or her mm -hmm. where you you said you know yes i validate what you're saying and let's go to a therapist yes i validate what you're saying can we finish watching the movie you know mm -hmm. So you, that's a very diplomatic way of doing it. And I, I dig that. Yeah. And I think it's a um, it's a healthy way for, for you to buy yourself time because the emotional draining factor, it really is a curve for us going through it. And so you are mm -hmm. savoring your energy. And these are ways that I have learned towards the end. So I wouldn't deplete my energy. I had to be more strategic in it. Yeah, And this is something that we're handing over to you. So preserve your energy. Be strategic when you're responding. They need validation. Provide validation. Yeah. Provide the validation. And just preserve your energy because that's the only thing that you really have to get you from morning yeah. to night. You need yeah. your energy for you. You don't have enough of a supply for another individual. Totally. And then plan to get the hell out of there. Yes. 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 Because that's the only way that you're going to live and be at peace. That's Absolutely. it. There's no other way. Absolutely. And I, and I love, and I, I'm always picking back on what you said because it's so timely, is planning your escape, your way to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Being strategic is the best way to plan your escape because now you're clear-minded. You know yes. what's going on. Now you can strategize preserve your energy yes and move on because you're ready you're ready absolutely i love it mm -hmm. and okay we did it we got it all we did it. 15. Right. yay all right so thank you guys for tuning in and uh, if you have any questions feel free to dm us and we are both certified coaches and we'll answer your questions we'll guide you through whatever you're going through and um mm -hmm. also uh l has a book and where can we get your book what's the name of your book so my book is on lbenet.com. The title is They Made Me Do It. And mm -hmm. it's about being able to see things from a different perspective to get you to the higher ground that you deserve to be on. Exactly. And, and great, your book. Okay. My book is Love at First X, and it's about breakups and how to survive a breakup and the aftermath. Uh, and then how do, if you want to stay in friends with your ex or not, you know, there's many options. And it's, it's a humorous guide, too. Because uh, to me, everything is a joke. <laughs> Look, I love that. It's so yeah. true. That's how we get through life. But where That's, can you find your book? Uh, Grace Fraga or gracecomedian.com. Love That's it. That's my website. So, all right. So thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Ciao. Bye.